how to become an electrician. That's what I'm going to talk to you about today. And there are basically three ways to become an electrician. So I'm going to talk to you about all three ways. And maybe you're looking to become an electrician, maybe you're looking for a career change, or you're young, you're leaving school and you're thinking about your future career, well, hopefully this video will be of help to you. If you haven't done so already, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and get ready for the video that is to come. So the first way to become an electrician, and probably the best way, I would say, is to get an apprenticeship. And this is essentially where you are recruited by a company, they will give you training in, in return for the work that you will put in for them. And you will also be put on a college course, but it's not full-time college course, it's a part-time college course. So usually it's one day a week, for example, at college. And then the rest of the days you'll be on site working, putting into practice the things that you've learnt in college and working with experienced electricians by your side to help you and give you practical experience. Now this is by far the best way to become an electrician purely because you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the college training, that you're getting the theory learning from people who know what they're talking about, the college instructors, but also you're getting the practical on-site experience, which is absolutely priceless. So if you want to become an electrician, if you can get an apprenticeship, it's really the way forward. How can you get an apprenticeship? Well, there are various methods, but um, there are agencies like JTL, for example, that's who I did my apprenticeship through. You can go on their website and you can uh, learn all about how to get an apprenticeship. And ultimately, you will have to contact a company and ask them if they're willing to take you on as an apprentice. So I've made another video about how to be a good apprentice and how to stand out from the crowd when you are trying to sign up and get an apprenticeship when you're going through the interview stage, etc. So check that link in the description for that video. The second way to become an electrician is to do a course. So you can do these courses where they, they're like either night school, what, they, well, what people used to call night school, basically, you know, you do uh, evening course kind of thing and you do it over a period of a year or two years, something like that. Or you can do these kind of intensive courses, so to speak, where it's like a four or five week course, for example, and they go through all the aspects of electrical installation and how to become an electrician. And at the end of it, you have the City and Guilds qualification that you technically need to become an electrical installer. But there's a big problem with this because it's all very well going into college and learning on paper what you're supposed to do. Uh, but real life is totally, totally different. And if even if you've done the course and you're technically a qualified electrician, um, there's no way that you'll be ready to just go out and start working for yourself as an electrician having done one of those courses. You just, it's not safe, in my opinion, for people to do that. Uh, because you need hands-on experience. You need to see how those regulations apply in real life scenarios how those techniques that you've been taught apply in real life scenarios. And so I would say that it, if you do the course, you will need more than just the course to become really an electrician. Uh, so that takes us to the third way, which is basically how to become an electrician by just getting experience. So what you could do is you could contact an electrician and you can say, I'd like to work as an electrician's mate uh, just to help you out. And you could work side by side with an electrician, even though you're not qualified. They would probably get you to do some electrical tasks uh, with their supervision and you will then be able to learn on the job and get some on the job training, which is really valuable. Uh, and really this needs to be combined with option two, which is a course. You kind of need both, really. An apprenticeship is sort of both set into one. But what you ideally need if you want to become an electrician is you need the formal training, but you also need the practical experience. So if you can combine both, become an electrician's mate, get some on-site experience, and then do the course to see how that applies in um, theory, 
learning all the calculations and things like that and how to pass the exams, then together you are on the right track to become an electrician. How much experience do you need really to become an electrician and get out on your own? Uh, that is a really difficult question to answer, but I would say that at least you need a year of experience working full time in electrical sites in order to be competent to work unsupervised on some tasks. And even then your experience will be very limited because you'll probably be working on quite a narrow range of tasks generally if you're working for one company. Usually most companies do the same few different types of jobs uh, and they don't branch out on a huge massive wide range of different jobs they tend to either do you know domestic jobs so you'll be doing rewires sockets lights things like that consumer units or they'll be commercial and you'll be doing you know more commercial type jobs or industrial you'll be doing more industrial type jobs and so your niche and your range of work that you will be competent and comfortable to do will be still quite narrow but over the years, as you gain in confidence, you might feel um, that you're able to take on more different types of jobs and gain experience in other fields. But working with a qualified electrician who's got experience is really the key and the best way of learning. So if you want to do that, one way is just contact electricians in the area who you think are reliable and competent and ask them if they'll be willing to just take you to work for a few days for free. You can just work with them um, and show them what you are capable of, that you're a hard worker and you're willing to learn. And then maybe they'll want to take you on as an electrician's mate more long term. That's uh, what I wanted to share with you today. Anyway, those three ways really to become an electrician. And hopefully this has been helpful to you. If you're looking to start a career in the electrical industry, or if you're on your track already to do so, hit the like button, leave us your comments, let us know your story, and share this video out to any, anyone else who might benefit from it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.